Hey, it's Pamela. In today's video, I will be unboxing October 2021's BoxyCharm. And if you like this content, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate having you here. Without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. This month's theme is Spellbound Ooh, for Halloween. But is this a trick or is it a treat? Let me get to unboxing the first item to let you guys know what I got and to see if they treated me or they're tricking me. How would they trick me? I don't know. It's a makeup subscription box, so... Unless, like, I guess a trick would be that there is nothing that I like in this box and a treat would be I get the good box or, like, I like everything in this box, but we'll see. I do have to say, I mostly do like it, but there is one item in here that I could have done without. Anyway, as usual, we're gonna start off with my choice item. I chose the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This says it's a highlighting serum with watermelon niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. It's vegan, cruelty-free, free of parabens, mineral oils, sulfates, silicones, phthalates, drying alcohol, and synthetic dyes. I really love the packaging. The color of this bottle is gorgeous. It kind of looks like a little potion bottle, so it's kind of fitting for Halloween spooky season. But there is a subtle pink hue and it is a milky formulation. It does have a nice watermelon scent to it, really like that. If my skincare is going to be scented, I want the scent to be nice at least not sure how much of a difference that is making on my hand and i haven't used this enough to say if i like it or not the two times that i did use it i didn't notice anything like spectacular but as i've said before you need to use a product for at least a few weeks to a month to see the full results of it but i also know that this is reviewed really well so i think i'm really gonna like this moving on to something that i'm wearing on my face this month i got another primer i can't remember if i got one last month i think i did and i received another one previously so i have all three primers just I kind of cycle them. It's the Laura Geller Spackle Skin Perfecting Primer. It says hydrate, moisturizes, and replenishes, which is perfect for when the temperature is starting to get cold and it's the air just gets drier, which dries my skin out. I'll get a little closer to the camera to see what you guys think. I'm not sure how this compares to the other one that I got. It does feel good on my skin. It doesn't feel overly hydrating, like I don't feel like my makeup is sliding off because there's too much moisture, which can happen. So far, so good with this, not reacting to it. I like how my makeup goes over top of it, so I also like this. Next up is a makeup item that I also have on my face right now. It's the Hanalei Matte Bronzer. I've never heard of this company. I think the packaging is super cute. When I saw this shade at first, I thought that it would possibly be too dark for my skin, but it actually actually blended in really nicely. Again, I'm not the best with makeup and I've never been with bronzer. It's kind of like hit or miss with me, but I do think that the shade did blend in really well. It may look a little bit orange. Also, my technique isn't the greatest, but it does add a nice warmth to the skin. Let me just swatch this for you guys. Put this over the serum. As you can see, it's very warm and it does blend out though it is a little bit patchy but it's also probably how I've applied it to my hand. Applying with a brush it's obviously going to diffuse out nicer. Maybe a cool tone bronzer would work well for me but I don't know. Maybe when I'm more pale which I'm starting I'm already starting to get super pale. I feel like a cooler tone bronzer would have been better for me. When I'm tan perfect because my natural skin color goes a bit orange so I think I'm going to hold off using this regularly until summertime. Next up is Lady Gaga's makeup brand called House Laboratories. It is in Aphrodite and it is the Glam Attack All Over Liquid Shimmer Powder. The packaging is really gorgeous. I love the little 
bike on the top. The shade is basically, I would call that a champagne. It's like a bronzy pinkish champagne color. And when you move it around, you can really see how glittery it is. I don't know if my camera is doing it full justice, but this is a gorgeous shade. I think it would work really nicely in the inner corners of the eye or if you are into the really blinding highlight look. Maybe it will work on your cheekbones or wherever you want to put it. It doesn't really matter. You put it all over your face. I don't care. I think this is really pretty. I like it. It's not the most practical thing for me, but I also don't own something exactly like this. Though I do have other highlighters, so I guess I do have similar products, I just don't have this product and of course, like what is my logic here? I don't know. Moving on to the last product, which is a disappointment. Simply for the fact that it's a product that I actually am not a big fan of. Have I been using it? Yes. Have I only been using it because BoxyCharm gave it to me? Yes. It is the Julep Beauty Makeup Remover Towelettes. This says glycerin, which boosts glow, olive oil, which moisturizes and hydrates, and witch hazel, which deep cleans the pores. The first time I used it, I was wearing a waterproof mascara, and I could not get it off with these. Last night, I used it again because to test it before I talk about it, and I thought I got all the makeup off, but I still had residue all in my eyelashes, so they're not good at removing eye makeup. I would use an eye makeup remover instead of these, so it's not a one-stop shop here and also I still have to wash my face after it because I don't like leaving the residue from the cloth on my face so I don't really understand the purpose of makeup wipes other than you're lazy and it's just a quick fix but even still if you use an oil cleanser your makeup comes off like that or you can use a makeup eraser towel that you don't need to put any product in so <laughs> why we're still giving makeup wipes and makeup subscription boxes is kind of beyond me why they're still being manufactured. Well, I guess there is a purpose. I actually used it to wipe off the makeup that I am using, so I guess like there's a purpose there, but even still, I can just use a reusable cloth. That way I'm not making a bunch of waste with these. This item is a bit of a fail boxy charm, and I hope that you don't put makeup wipes in any future boxes because it's not innovative and it's kind of like a the price of these is ridiculous. They're listed at $20. Really? I don't know anyone who in any right mind would pay $20 for makeup wipes. I'm really sorry to this company. I don't know. I don't really have to apologize to them too though, but that's grossly overpriced. I'm sorry. Anyway, so in my opinion, is October's Boxy Charm a trick or a treat? It's mostly a treat, but the one bad item, the trick, is the makeup wipes. There could have been a better item put into this box than that. Let me know your opinion in the comment section, and if you got Boxy Charm, what did you get in your box? And also, do you use makeup wipes? Do you hate them like me? What do you think about them? And that's everything for now. Thanks for watching.